Good afternoon, everybody. It's Cody here from Amazing ATS, and we are back. I do have my Mega Shifter back, so we are running the shift cam today. Right now, we are sitting up here in Jackpot, Nevada, and our first load is going to be taking us over to Placerville, California. We do have Cyrus the Viruses, Cascadia out today. We are running CR England. Yes, these trucks are... Uh, holy moly, I just forgot what I was going to say. Yes, these trucks are governed in real life, so of course we are not going to be doing no more than 65 miles an hour. So without any further waiting, we're climbing into the truck and getting our butts on the road. And I am going to check to make sure I do have the speed governor on. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yep, it, we are enabled. So let's get our butts on the road. Truck Boss, how's it going today? Welcome to the live stream. Uh, my day so far is going awesome like a possum. And yours? One thing I do not like about this truck is you can barely hear the Jake brake and the dash is quite low quality. Cyrus does not do a whole lot of high polygon counts 
at so the dash looks absolutely horrible but no big deal today we are going to be having a little bit of fun driving Mr. Iron Man, how's it going today? That is awesome to hear. Hey, Kenworth, how's it going? A long time no see. I really didn't do a whole lot of streaming this past week. Uh, I have been quite busy with uh, my real life along with job, so I did not, I did very little streaming. I got my mega shifter back yesterday so of course I got to do a shift cam because I have not ran that in quite a while. Busted there, Kenworth. Hey, Jamaican truckers, how's it going today? Yikes, that, that is one of the most expensive parts next to the graphics card these days. I am doing awesome like a possum. So you had to upgrade motherboard and CPU? Ah, oh, that's a very good chip right there, yeah. And even, uh, the only th difference between the 1600 and the 1600X is the 1600X is a higher clock out of the box, but you can even, without even needing the X, you can still overclock as long as you got a minimum B350 motherboard. Good afternoon, George. How's it going? You are going to be rocking now, Kenworth. Uh, 
uh, no, this would be a freight checker Cascadia. Did you update your graphics card at all, or are you still using the same one? Uh, what was the question again, George? And I do apologize about Thursday night. I do know what had caused that issue. For some odd reason, my OBS was sending data over to Great Britain instead of Washington, D.C. How that got changed, I have no idea because I did not do it. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry about that. So far, so good. Today, we are a CR England company driver. I do have the speed limiter on, so of course, we are going to be doing no more than 65 miles per hour. I don't have many gripes about trucks or anything like that. The outside of this truck is modeled beautifully. The interior though leaves a lot to be desired. Um, basically Cyrus the Virus, I had mentioned this before most of you guys had gotten in, that he does not use very high texture qualities uh, for his interiors for so gets the most amount of people who can use his mod without complaining about lag issues. So the interior on this is not what I am used to. Why the heck did you just do that? Yeah, that was a pretty bad place for a road construction for a random event. Coming up into this tunnel that is a little bit of a steeper hill. And uh, that was crazy. You don't want to shift gears going, well, skip going up the hill. Yeah, I have the latest, the 1.29, 1.3, and I am running a, a Detroit underneath the hood. Yeah, definitely you can put uh, Pride in Class on on a 379. As a matter of fact, the 379 is what had started the Pride in Class uh, options that you would be able to get from the factory. I was wondering, I didn't see you online for a while, Kenworth, and I wondered what had happened. Oh, 
Oh yeah, even though Detroit is now owned by Freightliner, you can put a Detroit into just about any truck. Oh no, Iron Man, gaming should not be boring, it should be fun. How's it going this afternoon? Actually, the truck would not be that bad if the interior was a whole lot better. could do that but today we are going to be doing all CR England trailers I did get a 579 set up but as I mentioned on Thursday I'm not sure how well it came through my brother is home from well, at least he's leaving out on Tuesday and I was going to do a 579 it's like uh, CR England has 579s and he goes no they run all Cascadia's and I had actually the other day deleted the Cascadia mod, so I had to go and re-download it. It's very low textures that Cyrus the Virus uses. Other than that, the outside looks fantastic, and the reason he does Cyrus the Virus does this is not everybody has a well, a system like mine where I've got a 7700, 32 gigabyte of RAM, so I could actually spare the 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 uh, the polygons on the texturing. But see, he's trying to get all of his mods that to where everybody can use them without having lag issues. That's why the interior is such a low quality. good to be streaming on Sunday again I do know that I missed the last two weeks that was kind of planned because I did have a lot going on so I didn't want to be rushed or anything like that so that's why I took the last two weeks off now I would love that for the 5700 Western Star mod to actually be completed besides the Optimus Prime version with a like a 10,000 horsepower engine it but the base one on its own there is no stack options and nothing for it Oh, and just so you guys are knowing, you're probably noticing a, quite a few different textures today. I do have the Realistic Mountains mod installed, along with Enhanced Vegetation and Realistic Roads.
yeah, I saw. I actually had Discord open yesterday. I did see the one that you had sent me, which uh, I believe is the FLB, and I saw it was from Lucasi on the Steam Workshop. I do not play farm sim. Hey, 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 killer, how's it going today? Welcome to the live stream. Glad to have you join us. that RTA has made is the 4900. The 5700 mod does use the interior from the 49. I would have no idea. And all right, killer. of a Come Apart fan. And Come Apart meaning Cummins. Welcome back. You know, if my brother actually, since I got my mega shifter back, if he was in here trying to drive, he would be the good old one. If you can't find it, grind it. Roger that, Iron Man. We'll catch you later. Well, that de does depend on how far back you go, George. Uh, basically, from the 60s and up, there was an option on the majority of trucks. You did not want to see me driving with this yesterday. I, I, for the life of me, could not shift it. And that was just one week without my shifter. did not catch the beginning of the stream, we are going to Placerville, California. Nah, you jump right in with both feet again, Kenworth. That's what I tried to do yesterday.
about to slam on your brakes in front of me? Roger that, Kenworth. familiar with Northern California coming up where we're going to be going through is the Donner Pass hey hey Martin how's it going today yes I did get your message about Pinga that you couldn't get it to work I went ahead and gave you a link uh oh uh oh uh oh alright we, we made it we made it Yeah, way to go, buddy. Just slam on your brakes in front of me. Good thing hitting the back of that car did not damage the load, which is A+. Plus. Yep, don't have my uh, normal train horn that I normally run. How's it going today? Uh, nope, that's because I have no control over this one either. As a matter of fact, the link that I gave you, Martin, I downloaded it. It works fine for me, although not all the textures do show up. So I, when going through and testing it, I did get some of the red boxes. Sorry about that, killer.
feel better soon. I did not get a ticket. Uh, we gotta hurry up and get by Coke here. We're gonna be getting off and going towards, uh, we're gonna be going on the I-5. Sounded like the regular Creech Bomb Jakes that he includes with his mod. Right. Killer Psycho, thank you so much for the follow there on Mixer. I appreciate it. I was just mentioning Coca-Cola for uh, the truck, and yeah, I do got a can sitting right there in the uh, cup holder. But I'm more of a Dr. Pepper kind of guy. I didn't download Pinga off of Mods ATS, which is a, that guy, whoever runs that one, does steal mods. say about 98% of my mods come from either ATSmods.lt or the Steam Workshop. The rest of them I try to get off the SCS forums. Uh, no, I am on PC.
there's a driving award. Oh, that'll teach me to do exactly 60 miles an hour. Five bucks for that for his mod either that's just it's ridiculous I mean, there's no way that mod is worth fifty five dollars I mean I'm pretty much against paid mods in general wasn't here to see that. Oh, and that's, this still is not fixed. I cannot get to this parking spot. Maybe that was just me. Oh, we got in here though. Did me give myself a little bit of damage. Darn it. Alright, let's see what else that we got here. Yeah, that's too long of a trip. What do we got close here? South Lake Tahoe, we've got anything there? That's too far. You can always go back to Sacramento. Samaran, we have, yeah, it was up there, but I didn't deliver there. What else do we got? That looks good. Let's go to Kingman. No, I got burned by MHA Pro, so I am... I am against all pretty much paid mods anymore. It, they are just not worth it.
only Martin that Pinga's 389 was a stolen mod and that Pinga himself was asking $55 for it. One that I'm waiting for though is Tom Dooley's 2018 Cascadia if it ever gets released. The one by Conbar I did uh, have it the other day and it the mod itself does work. The only problem though the dash is in kilometers per hour and it's like uh yeah we know that you're from overseas but uh, the United States uses miles per hour. killer I am a former truck driver I used to drive these trucks in real life about 20 well I first started about 22 years ago hey Clayton how's it going today A lot of the times you'll get people who will shift these exactly like you do a car. I mean, they will go from 8th into 7th without even revving the engine. You try to do that in a truck, in an actual truck, and all you do is you are going to grind the gear. It will not engage at all. Well, the problem is most of the overseas people, they are on the decimal system. The United States is still on Imperial. So that's why you see kilometers per hour and then also uh, miles per hour. The United States is the only one that uses miles per hour pretty much that's left. Killer, thank you so much for the hosting. I do appreciate it.
definitely, George. I'm more of a classic truck guy myself. Uh, well, at least he long knows the W900, 389, 379. And then, of course, there are still some cab overs that really uh, tickle my fancy also. the And, of course, I have to run a red light. Uh, the FLB and the International 9800. Hosting means that you are streaming my stream on your channel. Just remember, George, horsepower is not everything. You want to take into account the torque also. prefer the 387 for like a uh, just for the full stand-up sleeper which the 579 just went to without having that roof fairing on the top and I do love the look of the 387 oh yeah that came out in the 90s holy moly that's an old truck idea it was stolen if it was 55 bucks he has absolutely no right asking that amount for what I feel is not that good of a mod I mean granted yes you do get the ARI sleeper and some different customizations but that is not worth 55 bucks in my opinion How's it going today? Great to see you.
No, that link that I sent you, Martin, you would be able to download the truck and extract it without any issues. Well, actually, no, you don't even need to extract it. it you'll just drop it right into your mod folder. But definitely, anything that you do download, I am always recommend to scan it with your virus scanner. looks more like a streamlined version of like a 379 a 389 the headlights are very similar to a 389 it does have that sleeper just a more sloped hood on it what you would find on the 387 This thing sounds absolutely terrible. It sounds like a just a beefed up city horn. Yeah, now that's weird. The city horn sounds like a truck horn, and the air horn sounds like a city horn. Curious guys, for those on YouTube, are you able to see Killer from Mixer in the chat? I did enable the relay a while ago. Restream chat has updated. I just wonder if it's working again. having Xbox One. I am more of a PC gamer. Now, my brother, on the other hand, he does have an Xbox One, but he takes it with him on the road when he's out driving. Kenworth, welcome back.
get pulled over, although if you speed, uh, right now my beacons are messed up. I did have a uh, Realistic Flares mod installed that I did uninstall. And so you're not able to see the police lights. However, if you do get a speeding ticket, you'll hear a siren. I was looking at the uh, Truckers MP forum the other day, and it looks like they were trying to get the real operations that they do with ETS2 to try to get something started like with that for ATS. I mean, if that ever happens, yes, that is a definite stream night when that does go on. I'm gonna I'm gonna re-enable the uh, flare mod that I had because I kind of am missing the beacons so we're just gonna park here for a second I'm gonna get that mod enabled and then we will be right back and I'm just gonna save that there so I don't lose my spot we're gonna go in here to my mod manager and we're just go gonna re-enable the flares Yeah, killer, if you heard it, that would have been me getting a driving award or a speeding ticket. And I will be right back, guys. My game just crashed on me. That does happen when I re-enable that mod. So we're just getting this all started back up and... You guys have picture here in just a moment. There we go. All right, no more crashing. Operations, which is where Truckers MP staff blocks off roads and makes you go a certain way. That's only set up on a certain road, it's not through the entire map. go now that I have that mod back enabled we should be able to see beacons once again in order for me to go ahead and back that out and have just the trucks without it I actually need to get rid of every single truck disable the mod and then go back in and rebuy all of the trucks that I had
when I start my stream, George, uh, you will see a picture of a W900 up on there. I mean, I will pretty much run just just about any truck there is, although I am partial to the W900. requires you to run the signs mod with it that's included 2.4 which is currently in beta you do not you no longer need that signs.scs file they have been merged into the ma uh, base map itself Mexico, I am going to recommend that you update to 2.4. If you do not have New Mexico, do not update. Haha, <laughs> good old FedRex just caused an accident with a cop. Version 2.4, uh, 2.4, uh, Sir Black Spots, I believe, is uh, his name there on the SCS forums. He is working on Texas, Oklahoma, a uh, little bit of New Mexico and Kansas, adding in a whole bunch of roads and different cities. So I do think it's worth the upgrade.
besides the Volvo, the VNO uh, 670, which I would love to see SCS get in, there is a mod out for the 760 and the 860 already. But on the Mac side, I really would love to see the Mac Anthem and also the Vision in the game. There we go, beacons are working again. Mr. Bear has a customer. All you gotta do is go to Google and search Mac Vision and then click on images. It was one of this the vision came out in the late 90s and it was one of the first Macs that were fully aerodynamic. That would be great, Mern. I do understand that, I mean, such as Pinga wanting money for mods, I mean, to me, I would rather see them, what the heck, really, people? I would much rather have them do a mod for free and ask for donations instead of charging for a mod. Yep, I saw someone doing the good old hand gesture to blow the horn, and I actually did it for once.
look at that. We got Smokey Bear on my tail. How's it going today? Now, if I do do any heavy hauls, I'm going to go ahead and back out of the Cascadia and probably hop into the W9.
Alright, that pilot had mad skills in order to land on the interstate. stupid than me driving of course I'm constantly looking over onto my other monitor so I can see your guys chat so that might have something to do with it too nah the plane crash it actually wasn't a crash it had landed on the interstate
take care, George. get around that turn there and uh, of course I did not swing it wide enough could have called me swift there for a second swing wide it's a freaking trailer I'm going to get on out of here, guys. I do want to thank you for joining me this afternoon for the 16th episode of Sundays Are for Trucking. My name is Coda. Have a great rest of your Sundays. We will see you on the flippity flop.